We talk about the Elton John soundtrack album, Friends, and Paul Buckmaster, who created all those beautiful strings for Elton John, with the great Ray Williams. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Ray was the guy who introduced Elton John to Bernie Taupin, and that was a whole different world. Changed the trajectory of their lives, for sure. He was involved in Empty Sky and the Elton John album, but also the soundtrack to Friends. It's a very symphonic album. The, the movie did not do that well, but the album did quite well. It's sort of a cult album these days with that bright pink cover. And Paul Buckmaster, who created so many of the great string arrangements for Elton John, had a huge part in that. We talk about Paul and Friends with Ray Williams. The Troubadour was happened between the Elton John album and Tumbleweed. I know he played some Tumbleweed stuff on yeah, at the, at the tr right. Troubadour. But, yeah. uh, I mean, Tumbleweed was recorded, though, already. It just hadn't oh, been released, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So there was another album that I was very much involved with, which was the Friends album. Oh, right. Because a friend of mine was John Gilbert, who managed Family. And when we made the... Elton John album, I gave him a copy because I said, this guy's going to be really big. He came back to me and he said, guy, he said, my dad's doing um, a movie. His dad was a, Lewis Gilbert, was a famous old director. And he said, you know, maybe we could use some of this. Anyway, we met up. It was a very cheap movie. It was about a quarter of a million pounds. And it was all set in the Camargue. I don't know whether you ever saw it, but these two young 15 year olds that fall in love. And that's when I said, we should try and do some music for you. And it came out. And of course, Friends was a massive success. Uh, you know, not as an Elton John album, but as a soundtrack. And it, I think it reached number two in America, I think. You know, it was a massive... Oh. Paul Buckmaster was a big part of that. Oh, Paul Buckmaster. See, that's another sad thing. Paul passed away not so long ago. I'm glad Caleb, in his, in his documentary, has got... Paul in that. He was a brilliant man. He had a lot to do with the transition of Elton being something there to where Gus and him, the combination of that on the Elton John album was just unbelievable. But well, how does that make you feel when you look at a lot of your peers, a lot of your colleagues? And I mean, it's happening left, right and center. It is. There's uh, too many uh, people passing away at the moment. Um, and people that were absolute legends, and that they are—I mean, everybody lived the uh, the rock and roll dream, or what people perceived as the rock and roll dream. But a lot of people just carried it on and didn't stop at a certain age, and uh, therefore they continued, and they, um, you know, they, they ended up in many cases just as Elton did. And uh, there's just so many people. It's tragic. And uh, I find it very sad that they, a lot of these people have never been able to enjoy a, a longer um, life and having fun. You know, these people, you know, one knew when we were very young. He, you know, Mark Bowden was a great guy. It's just sad that none of them are around here anymore. We have a few more clips coming up for the next few weeks. Make sure you comment on our videos and subscribe to our channel and share our videos. More from Ray Williams next week. Buy a t-shirt if you want to support the channel. We're hiring some video editors so we can get these videos out to you sooner. Links in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music.